Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1275 where we have 40 moves to clear out 56 jelly and reach 46,000 points. And when we have a limited field here, we're relying on luck. I only have two moves that I see to make. One is here and the other is here, so I'm going to employ a little bit of strategy. My strategy is to make the play down low and hope that cascading can help. And we have a little bit of action here. And now, of course, when we have no moves to make, that really shows us that we need some luck on the board. Uh, we do have chocolate spawners. This one can't spawn, and now this one can't grow anymore because we don't have any candy next to it. Uh, this one and this one are still eligible, and you'll see they'll take over that area. I'm going to let them. There's not much I can do until I bust through here. So um, I'm better just concentrating on what I can do over on this side, not worrying about everything else that I can't reach. Uh, trying to make specials that might be able to pair up with more specials. Gosh, I wish I could have a blue over here before I do this, but I realize I can't. Let's just get this um, done and out of the way and clear out as much of this as we can. Now no more chocolate can grow over here. Chocolate's already consumed this area. Uh, I don't see how to get a green here. But there may be a green on top, and even if not, it'll be a nice special, so that's okay. But I will be looking for opportunities to make more specials. Like right here, I can put this blue together, and then maybe I'll be able to pair some things. Well, not those. They're just going to explode. That's okay, though. That's an efficiency of moves. Now, as we've got stuff here, chocolate can grow, but that's okay because I'm going to note the fact that there's no jelly right here, so I don't have to worry about that for now. Let's see. I don't see about getting a blue here, but maybe a green in the center. I'm going to do something unexpected. There we go. Uh, I decided that there was a pretty good shot with a few colors on the board that we could get a color bomb. Now, I know this is a really good setup and I'm risking it, but I just thought that if I could get a green over here, it would be better. So I'm going to do this. It's going to explode this, but it should really do a lot of damage for us, and that's what we need. We need it to clear out this board. So it looks like this is my first playthrough, as is evidenced by the fact that I kind of don't know what I'm doing at first, and I'm collecting sugar drops. And what I see key here is that there are a lot of opportunities to make specials. So we have to keep looking for these specials. We only have four colors on the board. And so um, that means that it's not hard to make specials, and we have to try to coordinate them together to clear this out. Now we're just playing clean up along the fringes. Uh, I'm not too worried now, so I'm probably making silly moves. They're probably better moves, but I could see that it was just a... Um, I already had three stars. I didn't have to concentrate too much. So that's how I beat this level, first playthrough. Hopefully you're just as lucky, just as successful. If you're not, if you're struggling, put something in the comment section specifically about what's hanging you up, and I will do my very best to try to respond with maybe an alternative strategy to help you. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks so much for watching.